Hi, my name is Beatrice. I'm the creator of Dada. Dada is a platform where people speak to each other through drawings. What you see here, every panel is made by a different person. And what's beautiful is that all of this has been created by different people in different countries who have never met each other, they speak different languages, and it's all very spontaneous. And they're not motivated by money, but by intrinsic rewards. And this community have created thousands of these conversations, 125,000 drawings is the largest collection of rare digital art in the world, ready to be traded as NFTs. And the big question was, how do we make this community self-sustaining without destroying why people contribute in the first place? So I've been an entrepreneur for 20 years. I know how to make money, how to make systems, but I didn't have an answer as to how a community like Wikipedia could be sustainable without relying on traditional business models that will destroy why people contribute, but also without relying on donations. So I went into uh, deep research, asked uh, very hard questions about uh, the structures of the system, and came out with a proposal called the Invisible Economy, which is based in one important insight. At the moment that we replace intrinsic motivations, the love for art, by extrinsic expected rewards, money, intrinsic motivations will diminish or completely disappear, which kills creativity, art, and innovation. Our thesis is that in order to preserve the intrinsic motivations, the economy has to be invisible. That is, we have to radically separate art from the market. So we created our own incentive framework, uh, trying to balance individual autonomy and community, so freedom and fairness. And on the other axis is uh, the balance of extrinsic versus intrinsic. So the material baseline and the spiritual uh, rewards. And we presented the paper at Radical Exchange and started working groups to define this economy uh, collectively. These working groups are completely open and are a way of uh, collectively deliberating and defining this economy. And we have seen a collective mindset shift from uh, optimizing for money to creating a system that is optimizing for protection of the values that we, that we want to nurture. So we have a governance system that is open, that is a duocracy where anyone who wants to do something, power flows to them. And the, then the question was, how do we account for that contribution? What are the metrics? And we're saying this is not an agent-based model. This is a needs-based model. For us, they're not agents uh, that play a role. For us, there are needs that are universal. And we're creating the environment in which the action that they take to fulfill those needs are actually the reward in itself. So we don't talk about reputation. We talk about contributions. We don't have numbers next to people. We have the actions that people take and how they feel when they take that action. So here you can see how we are mapping the contribution. This is actual uh, real data. And we create these portraits where people can see how they felt and what they contributed to the system. This is a system model. You can see that we're optimizing for the protection of uh, the things that we value. And money comes in. There is a, a, a fund, a data fund, uh, that will be then redistributed among everybody according to our, our values and our contribution metrics. We have the data community, which is what we want to protect. It's creating value, and that value can be channeled through other platforms in all kinds of ways to create different revenue models for the actual ecosystem. But we know that now we can open the flows of money because once money comes into the system, we have created the necessary protections and the necessary incentives for the money that is coming in to nurture and in fact protect the things that we value. So I think by data being an information network and now being able to create our own money in our own way, we're co-opting two of the most important social institutions of our time. Thank you so much.